So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Gribbles Alice 4. We're of course playing with Diamond Offensive Mod as the Chain Graspers. <coughs> as we're going towards the end of this playthrough. At the moment, we're just waiting for Duck to finish up his uh, studies. And show that he is the mightiest of mages. As simple as that. Uh, there we go, we can live with that. We are also... wait a second. I mean, I could just... Ex accepting these guys is actually cheaper. Not to think about it, sure. I mean... <laughs> <coughs> have a space left. Alright, uh... Don't have anything I want here. So we're not gonna click anything. Of course, building wise, we're also fairly settled. We can still put things to level, s level 3 here. D okay. We did everything here as far as I remember. Right. Yeah. <coughs> okay, we could just do one more. All right. Now, before we dev up, let's quickly <coughs> see if we can go for a law seeker. Yes, we can. Lovely. I mean, I assume that we're gonna end it this way, uh, anyway. Alright, let's co take a look at this one again. I mean, I, I, oh, there was development cost reduction, there we go. <coughs> it's the only thing that really makes sense. Uh, Crown land, autonomy, bribe. Uh, huh, huh. Okay, there we go. I was making full use of that. I was assume that this is gonna be too long of an episode. Really. There we go. Now we can do something. I mean, they're, they're basically gonna keep up probably all the time. Let's just do the 8 construction. <coughs> Technically doesn't do anything for us at the moment. Or at least not that much. Do, 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 do. We of course are gonna keep that. <laughs> Look at how ridiculously focused we are on uh, military here. State houses that could have some use. Oh, we're actually missing a university. <coughs> uh, sure. Oh, Diplo. I did say I want to go for 10, so we're gonna go for 10. Here. Completely forgot how many gold provinces we have. Uh, 
basically being uh, where was our main income for a while, huh? <coughs> oh, and then we're gonna go even down to... There we go! I was wondering when we actually get something from uh, that. And we actually only just recently made it to the next stage. It's interesting. Uh, we can do that. We can also do this. And we're slightly over governing capacity. Oh, we had a gold province. I didn't really realize that. A uh, slave province. <coughs> I mean, slave pits, so. I guess it makes some sense. Building all kinds of shit. <laughs> ah, it's it's quite fun. It's not like that. Basically, uh, towards the end, you just build all of the random shit. Uh, that should be another law seeker, right? Yep. I see. Finishing that up. Sure. Because not also has an old hold. Oh, that might be. Oh no, that's not quite it. Just one more, and we're done. And he can call himself the greatest spellcaster that has ever lived. So, not done yet. Alright. <coughs> Redonculus. Just the she the sheer amount of development that we get from diving. And hey, that's that's what what I usually build up to anyway. So, of course, it makes sense. Hey, all right. Been there, done that. We have. Legendary on everything. We are a master of spell casting. Dyke has reached uh, the limit. <coughs> and with that, his. Okay, let's just. just yeah, then I mean his control over uh, uh, magic is unrivaled. <laughs> Power cost reduction and maximum absolutism. Most powerful mage of Chain Grasper. And with that, we can also complete the control over everybody in our nation. <laughs> Alright, and with that, the last few things are done. Another power cost. Like, how much power cost reduction do we have? We don't. We do have some. St uh, uh, right? 32%. <coughs> I mean, that is just healthy. And of course, we do have other. a bunch of reductions stacking up. That is just lovely. We have a ridiculous amount of discipline as well. But that, I guess that will be the end of this uh, 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 playthrough either way. We can have another look through everything. 
And our point gain is just ridiculous. There's no argument about that. Money is looking... I mean, it's not the, high, the highest amount of money I've ever gotten, but it is substantial. I guess we could have also easily tried for uh, Serpent, Spine, Serpent Spine Conquest, but I don't think that really fits. Uh, from ideal groups wise, of course, once again, uh, the usual contestants. I mean, I guess this time I didn't get espionage ideas. So there's that to mention. Otherwise... We have duck and yeah, so we're a little bit over the limit there, but that has reason. If you want, I'm gonna give you a quick look over that. I mean, of course, we don't need to look into a sub in our territory that is all converted. But I don't think there's oh, well, it seems like Gurn Ulag has turned Coronite. You sun cold. The Judd is still around. Okay. As of course, I mean, this is always the split. Ibavar State Elven Forebears. The rest of the world we don't see that well. <coughs> but otherwise... I mean, um, one thing that actually might be interesting is... Uh, the culture here. Because, I mean, we have goblins, a lot of them. But of course we then also switch... Uh, we have some March Goblins. Probably have... Might even have more March Goblins than we have... Undergrowth, but... Citron Dwarfs, Titanium Dwarfs, Lead Dwarfs, and Gold Dwarfs. And of course the Ember Dwarfs, all accepted in the Great Realm of Duck. The holds could have been a little bit more impressive, but we are Goblins and not uh, Dwarfs. That is also important to mention, so we can't do that much about it. After Lasan, our former capital, definitely on level 10. And I think we could have done a decent bit with Kostanat, especially with the construction time reduction that we currently have. But with that, I would also end this rather short episode. I mean, it was definitely too much to put on the other episode. As simple as that. 12 minutes is too much. I guess we could uh, do this. <coughs> I mean, yeah, army-wise, didn't even take a look at that. Our, <coughs> our navy was not the highest, I have to admit. But at least we had the largest army, the highest income and the highest province value. Of course, we were not, we were not, not the most wealthy nation, especially with this position. You would have really had to make it up to Andria to really like get the finances going. But... Until then, like always, that will be it for this playthrough. I guess I'll see you guys on the next playthrough. Bye!